Hi there everyone, welcome back to another episode of Mindspiration. So in this episode, I'm going to give you guys some tips and tricks on how to re-edit some of your textures. This subject was so highly requested, I didn't know where to begin with this because this subject is so broad that I decided to kind of break it down into beginner, intermediate, and advanced. So this episode is going to be really good for people who are just beginning and getting into re-editing some of their textures for Minecraft. And of course, if anybody has any better tips and tricks for re-editing some of their textures for beginners, please leave all your suggestions in the comments below and maybe you guys might teach me a thing or two as well. So with that said, let's get started. So here I am bringing you to minecraftnovaskin.me and this is actually a Minecraft skin editor site that I'm pretty sure a lot of you are already familiar with. This is a site that I first started using when I first started retexturing and reskinning and making my own textures. And the reason why I'm showing this site to you guys is because it's easy to use and it's free to everyone. So anybody and anyone can use it. So they have a section here for textures and when you click on that it takes you to a, um, a different page and this page brings you to all the different textures within Minecraft and it's broken down into sections. So this section is the entities and the entities are the mobs and the animals within Minecraft like your creepers, your chickens, your pigs, your sheep and all that fun stuff. And if you go a little bit lower you have a section for armor and then after that you have a section for all your blocks within Minecraft and then after blocks you have a section for all your items within Minecraft which is really really cool and it's easy to use and easy to find each texture and if you go all the way down what I like about this is it even has its own section for mo creatures so if you watch Minecraft, sometimes I retexture the bunnies and stuff this is what I use but that will probably be a whole new Mindspiration episode because that's a little bit more advanced and I don't want to confuse you guys with this just yet but just so you know it's there and uh, maybe in another episode I will teach you guys how to retexture some of your mo creatures uh, mobs in Minecraft but for now let's focus on something that's a little bit easier to do for all you beginners and I think we should do a diamond Minecraft sword so here it takes you to your editing page and you have a pen tool and an eraser and you have different custom uh, colors that you could choose from for each palette and it has a little toggle on the side that you can move up and down and you could choose from an array of different colors all these reds blues purples greens yellows and oranges for the sake of this episode I think I'm going to change my diamond sword into a paintbrush since my skin is an artist this episode the possibilities are endless with this so when you're retexturing or editing the colors on your textures have fun and be creative and when you're done all you have to do is save and download So now I'm going to show you guys how to add the new texture into your resource pack. So I went ahead and made you guys two resource packs, a 1.6.4 and another one for 7.2, 7.4, and 7.5. I have tested it in all versions and it seems to be working fine, but if you guys use it and come across any issues, please let me know and I'll try my best to get it fixed. So the reason why I made you resource packs is because I learned through trial and error, <laughs> a lot of trial and error, that it's easier to work with resource packs than it is to go into your Minecraft bin folders and change the textures from there because then later on if you decide I don't like this texture anymore it's kind of a pain in the butt to take out and redo and it's like ah, ain't nobody got time for that yeah I just said that um, <laughs> so I made resource packs so that if you decide later on uh, I don't really like this anymore you could take it out download a whole new resource pack and start over so uh, now I'm gonna show you guys how to add this texture into your resource pack so you're gonna go to your start menu and type in percent app data percent then you're gonna go into your roaming file 
and then from your roaming file you are going to click on your Minecraft file. So I am not too sure how to do it on Macs. This is for Windows. I will find out how to do it on Macs and I will write the direction in the description bar below so you guys that are Mac users can try and do it for yourselves as well. So then go into your Minecraft and then from Minecraft you click on your resource pack. And then I've named the resource pack Vanilla Kate 1.6.4. You're going to click on to that or whatever version you are using. Assets, Minecraft, Textures. And then you're going to find the folder that your texture lies in. So I have a sword. So I am going to go into items. And it brings up all the different textures for the items. So now I am just going to find the diamond sword and where is it hmm should be in here I hope <laughs> uh, it should be in here oh there it is and now with the new texture it automatically downloads as unnamed so I'm gonna rename it to diamond underscore sword just like the texture pack has so where is it I think yeah diamond underscore sword so you want to do this for any other texture you are going to be dropping in into your texture pack make sure the names match so after I rename it I am going to get it and just drop it into my um, items folder for the textures And then your window is going to pop up that says copy, replace, move and replace. You're just going to pick copy, replace or move and replace. So that's just going to replace the texture with the new one. And then you're just going to exit out and open your Minecraft. So now once I open up my Minecraft, my diamond sword has now changed into a little paintbrush with red paint on it. And it was that easy to do and if I go into my items it's still there it says diamond sword plus seven attack damage so that doesn't change so now I'm gonna go in and give you guys some ideas and examples for things you can try out on your own so with the Nova skin texture editor I was able to create flowers on my grass top change my mushrooms blue and add rainbow flowers to my oak leaves and change my oak planks into teal planks and I even gave Mr. Pig a little mustache so those were just some of the examples that you can try on your own with the Minecraft Nova Skin Texture Editor. And remember that the Diamond Sword was just an example. You can apply that to any other texture you choose to re-edit. So I hope you learned something new today on my inspiration, and I hope that I was able to help you guys out on those who are just getting into re-editing some of their textures. Thank you for watching, and if you found this video helpful, give it a thumbs up, and I will see you next week. Bye!